I'm usually a Firefox kind of guy. I just have so many add-ons that I cannot go without, but today I'm using Chrome to do this video since I've used Firefox on like all of my other videos. Credit goes to these people. There's several of them. They all put this together. Do a full flash, like a super wipe, and also make sure you clear your Google Wallet settings before doing anything. Download, and then I'm gonna take this, Copy it, and then I'm gonna press download. All right, it's done. We're gonna click show in folder. And then this part is completely optional. I just like to verify the MD5 that I'm given. I use Win MD5 some. There is a portable version as well. It's probably gonna open it on my other screen. I got two monitors hooked up to my laptop right now. And then just right click, paste, and compare. They are the same. So the file is good. At this point, you're going to want to hook up your phone to your computer. And then it brings up a list of charge only, disk drive, USB tethering. Choose Media Sync and then press Done. Now on your computer, you should see Evo. Please put it on the internal storage. You can choose the SD card if you want, but this is a faster storage method. So we're going to show in folder again. Then we're going to open up the phone, and we're just going to take this and drag it to the root directory, not inside a folder. Usually I use Goo Manager, but I've done that in so many videos, I'm going to go ahead and show you a manual way of doing this. If you're going to use Goo Manager, you can follow my other videos showing how to install it using Goo Manager, and it's the same exact method. Just put it inside your Goo Manager folder, and then open up the Goo Manager app, and choose the zips that you want to flash, order flash selected, press OK. Then all this is done for you automatically, and you just come back to your phone 5-10 minutes later, and you're completely booted into the system there's no waiting for each step to finish before you continue to the next one but I've been seeing some posts about this so I'm going to go ahead and do it manually all right so now it's on the root directory of the SD card you don't have to safely eject your phone or anything like that just drag down your notification bar press media sync charge only and then done all right now we're gonna switch over to the camera the very first thing you're going to want to do is go to your Google Wallet and clear your settings if you want to use Google Wallet make sure you do not forget to do this step I didn't even use Google Wallet, but you go up here, press menu, and then settings, and then clear. On my video showing how to install CleanROM, I showed how to clear Google Wallet settings. <laughs> if you have not used Google Wallet, you do not have to clear it, as far as I'm aware. So we're going to go ahead and reboot this thing into recovery. Now, you can just hold volume down and power until you see the phone start to shut down. There it goes, one second. Let go and hold it down again. And there we go. And then press volume down once and then press power. I choose twerp recovery because it gets updated the most. Bugs get squashed rather quickly and there's no issues with it. Plus I really like touchscreen. Plus on top of all that, it's integrated with Goo Manager. What I recommend doing is first of all, making a backup of your current ROM. And you can go up here and you can choose which all ones you want to back up. It's up to you whether you use skip MD5 generation or not. Some people recommend choosing your external SD card if you have one for your backups. Enable compression so that the way the file size is smaller. And I'm going to back up everything but the recovery. And the backup name is going to be clean ROM. And just press go. And then swipe. Now I just give it some time. Another really big benefit to twerp recovery is that you can actually charge your phone while you're in recovery. All right, it's generating the MD5 at this point, which basically when you go to restore your phone, it's gonna make sure that the MD5 matches. And if it matches, that means that everything that it backed up is everything that's gonna be restored. If you don't have an MD5, then it has no way to verify whether it's restoring exactly what it backed up. Okay, so the backup is successful. We're gonna press back, and then we're gonna press back again. And here's where you're gonna to wanna to wipe your phone, otherwise you're gonna have issues. Wipe. Factory reset. I'm going to go ahead and do that. From here, you can actually continue and install the ROM, but I'm going to do a super wipe, which wipes everything but your internal and external SD card. So I'm going to go to install, and depending on where you put it, is where it's going to be located. Mine is in my Goo Manager folder. The super wipe right there. And then I'm just going to flash. This doesn't take very long at all. Press back. Okay, so now our phone is completely wiped. There is no operating system on it. We're gonna press install, and then we're gonna go up a level, and then we're gonna go all the way down until we find the ROM. 
Just swipe. Alrighty, it is done. We can press reboot the system and we'll see what kind of boot animation we get. And please, I want your feedback on this. Is it better to have a white background or a black background? Like if you watch my video on installing Viper Boys ROM, I had a black background. That's something I customized using a Regaz bootloader customizer tool. Ah, oh, cool. The boot animation is in landscape. I'm gonna go ahead and change the orientation for you guys. There you go. That looks pretty cool. It just vibrated, so I think it's about to start up. Please keep in mind that this did take a couple minutes to boot up. And here we're presented with the lock screen, and it wants us to set everything up. Oh, that's cool. You can choose Wi-Fi. You get a themed keyboard. That's pretty cool. No Tell HTC screen that you have to consent to. And here you sign into your Google account. And then finish. We'll see what our desktop looks like. This is what I was talking about the black background. Just using my table instead of using the white piece of paper. No, I do not want quick tips. That's pretty cool. Bad seat apps. Oh, that's neat. It's customized right here. And you get more apps in a screen, I think. I think there's usually only four. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? But I think that's more. It comes with several apps, it looks like. Ad free, ICS keyboard settings, notes, just a lot of different apps. See what happens when we bring this down. You get like a clear notification bar, it says tranquility. I don't know if you can change that to your preferred liking. Oh, that's cool. It is completely invisible all the way down to here. Let's see what happens when you hold the power button. Restart. Okay, so you don't get to recover your bootloader options yet. I think this is the first release or maybe second one, so that could come in time. This ROM, from what the OP states, has been through tons and tons and tons of testing and making sure that things work right. I thought I'd go ahead and make this video for you guys to see what it's like, as I don't think there's any other video of this ROM yet. Hopefully that's a pretty good shot of the battery and Wi-Fi and signal. Just like all of my other reviews on clean ROM, mean ROM, and etc., I'm going to keep this ROM on my phone for a week, and I'll be back to do a full review of it after I've had time to play with it, see what the battery's life is like, things that I don't immediately notice that I find out later. So please subscribe if you want to see the review of this ROM and hear my opinions on it. If you're a real big theme running into heavy modifications like this, then this might be the ROM for you. I have several other videos on the Evo 4G LTE, and I'll continue to make videos and cover things that happen with this device device, the Galaxy Nexus, Transformer Prime, HP Touchpad, and future devices. And for those of you that keep asking about the SGS3, yes I am getting that device, it's just taking me some time to get it. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, it helps me out a lot, it lets me know that you enjoyed it and you want to see more like it, and it just encourages me to keep on doing what I'm doing. This is what we Josh do, and I'm out.